Hey y'all, it's your girl Shamara. Welcome to my channel. I'm just going to jump right into it. I want to talk to you guys today about how to properly detangle and the best DIY detangler. Um, I've already sectioned my hair, that's why I look like a hot mess. To help me detangle, I use my rat tail comb, the thicker one and longer one. And what you'll need is the DIY detangler, which it includes water, aloe vera juice, marshmallow root extract, and coconut oil that I don't have here. But Mix it up and be careful because if you use olive vera juice that's already been open, you have to refrigerate it, which makes it cold. And when you mix it with anything cold with coconut oil, it turns it to solid. So if that happens, just run some hot water over it. So I use this to detangle and the good old Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture Detangler with Sea Kelp and Argan Oil for dry damaged hair. Hill strengthen and grow. This lightweight detangler conditions and smooths dry damaged hair with natural botanicals while removing knots and tangles, restores body and shine and manageability. Um, it does just that and also can be used as a leave-in, but I don't really like it as a leave-in. I'm hitting it so I can go down because it's pretty thick. Um, this is my first step before everything else I do on wash day. I detangle first, then I wash, deep condition, condition, all that good stuff. So what you'll need is your whatever demi brush you have or Y2 comb, y2 comb, comb that you have. These little clippers and I'm going to clip my hair up now so I won't grab any hair while I'm detangling a section. I have my hair in um, seven sections. Um, so I'll just get these clips, keep it out the way, and let's get started. Um, this is where you have to have a lot of patience because you have to take your time. Shake well, definitely. It's going to make a mess. That's why I have this towel on me. You have to saturate your hair completely. saturate then I get some more of this you do not have to pair this together this is what I like to do um, when I detangle my daughter's hair I just use a DIY detangler and it works just fine but I'm trying to actually get rid of it um, not that I don't like it but I've had it for a while it lasts forever and you just want to start at the ends. My hair was already kind of stretched out because I had a protective style in for about a week. So it's already stretched. So detangling should be a little bit more simpler. Just kind of go like that. And you will do this to each section and you could when you're done with this section you can either put a clip or twist it back up I like to twist just because that's what I'm used to doing twist it to get it out the way and when you're twisting do not borrow from another twist it's a two strand twist so try not to borrow like that because when you take it out, you might kind of rip your hair out. So you want to be careful. And then you start with another section. Like I said, it is already stretched out. Take the spray. But it works when my hair is really matted, which I try not to let happen. 
to saturate it completely. You get a bit more, you don't need a lot. Make sure you get the ends very well. The ends. Nice and simple. I used to dread detangling my hair because so much hair used to come out, but now that I have this DIY detangler and this method, I love detangling my hair because it's so easy for the demi brush to go through. Twist that section up. And usually after I am detangling, like I said, I start my wash day. Now either I'll do um, a hot oil treatment before I wash or a protein treatment. And I let either one stay for about an hour. Today I'll be doing a protein treatment. But in this video, I'll just be detangling. You saturate everywhere. And I know so many people say focus on the ends because it's the oldest and driest, which it is very true. But what I've learned through my two years of transitioning, the roots is just as important. And if you feel like your hair is a lot more matted, you just make your section smaller. As my hair has gotten healthier and my sections have become bigger to eliminate some of the, all the time you'll be taking to do that. So I went from about maybe 12 sections because my hair was either matted or I was transitioning. I love to see that. I love detangling videos. Beautiful. it up and now that I kind of know what I'm doing and what to expect I can go a little bit faster than I normally would but again if your hair is not already stretched or is very matted very dry you want to go a little bit slower and I have if you're wondering I have 4C kinky hair. I'll always start at the ends. Um, because it is liquid, I usually spray and then kind of hold it in my hand because it will drip down. So I want it to my trezies to absorb it. And make sure you shake. And you start with the hair at the ends and you work your way up. If your brush or comb does not go all the way through when you first start, then you might want to spray some more 
detangler. Twists. I try to comb in every day direction. So I know I detangled all of my hair. It just makes my wash day so much faster, so much better, less hair that is lost. Again, it's very messy. Shake, spray. You can definitely see much shrinkage. And when you're brushing your hair, do not be alarmed too much about all the hair that's going to be coming out. Whenever I do my hair, there is a lot of hair that comes out, but I don't worry too much because I literally only comb my hair on wash day and which is every two weeks and when I'm styling it, which is at the end of the week. So once a week, yeah, once a week I detangle. See how simple that is? Start at the end. I'll pop right back up. Again, I try to comb in every direction. You know how tricky hair could be. So far, not much is in the brush. So last time I detangled was last week. And again, the fact that I have my hair in a little manipulation style or protective style helps because it's already stretched, as you can see. Shake, spray the ends. I usually I try to finish the bottle if I can't, that's okay. really good. Again, the more the tangled your hair is, the more product you would use, and the carefuler and slower you'll go. I love detangling my hair. It's so relaxing, pain-free, and this is a perfect DIY for your children. My daughter loves when I detangle her hair now. Not like when I was growing up. I used to hate to get my hair braided. It was the worst, literally torture, but now it's a breeze.
and you don't want to stop mid detangle like don't brush and then stop right here and then let go you'll cause more tangles just always go from root to end As the end gets near, it'll get a little bit thicker, but it's okay. It's hard to come out like you see now. Um, you can open it and just take some of it out. It's too thick. A little bit in my hands. Good. A little bit of this. You're going to have hair kind of everywhere, and it's okay. A little bit of this. And. Sorry, I had to scratch my scalp. When I did that, it felt so great. I'm just scratching it. Don't do that. Don't try this at home, kids. Shriek gets is really real. Now, if I sit here for like two minutes, it'll be all the way up here. How? I don't know. Shrinkage is real. One more time for everybody in the back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And there we go. I am all detangled and ready for wash day. Like this video, give me a like, and I'll see y'all later.